Today, I wanna to show you the new feature in Microsoft Teams chat with yourself. It allows you to add notes and reminders and files to a chat session reserved just for you. They also have four tabs at the top of the menu and I will go through them with you as well. Let's get started. Okay, so I have navigated to Adele's profile and you'll notice right at the top that the profile is pinned to the top. So if you have a lot of activity in this left navigation that you are listed at the top and if you want, you can hide any of the recent if you like. So what you see here is I've actually started some conversations or posted some reminders for myself. This is a normal standard chat. If I go in and type in hello, that is normal. I get all the standard attributes for chat. I also have the ability to use the um, loop component, which allows you to have more editing attributes. So you can add a bullet list, you can add a table, and you can actually have some more formatting functionality um, than you do in a normal chat. So that's the difference. Now, if I look at the more options, this is for the loop component. Notice that I ha will have less um, functionality than I do from the normal. Under the normal chat, notice that I can translate my content or turn the Immerse Reader on. So that's different. Now, you can pin any of your um, uh, reminders or notes that you have listed here. And notice that they're adding uh, what you have pinned up at the top. And should you click on it, it's going to take you right there. So that's nice. So before I go to talk about the other tabs, I want to give you some best practices. You know, I like to talk about best practices. So one of the common questions I always get is, now we have all these different applications where we can store notes and reminders, you know, what should you do? And my recommendation is choose two platforms. So you now have chat with yourself in Microsoft Teams. You have Outlook, you know, the quick notes um, that is integrated with OneNote. You have the to-do app. Again, pick two platforms that you use the most. And that's where I would recommend for you to keep your um your notes. And the other best practice I have is remember that Microsoft Teams is tied to your company. And so do not put any confidential information in your personal chat channel. So under the files tab, this is where all your files are going to be listed as well as you can upload any files from OneDrive or from your um, local drive. Notice that anything that has the Fluid extension is tied to Loop. Under the Organization tab, if your company have this enabled, that now you can see your organization chart. It's just going to make it easy for you to, you know, connect with Patty if you like. You can see her telephone number. You can start a um, video call, telephone call, or even look at her LinkedIn. Now, I am a small business, and I didn't have any direct reports, nor did I report to anyone. So um, don't be alarmed if you don't see this page. Now under the activity tab, this is going to show all your activity, your responses, your conversations that you started in other team channels. So if you would click on this particular um, response that it's going to take you right to that channel. So that's really nice. Under the LinkedIn, Microsoft is giving you the ability to share your profile with your colleagues. Your profile may be already public on LinkedIn, so there's no worries. If you click on it, 
and may be asked to sign in and then your profile will be available to your teammates. Lastly, chat with yourself in Microsoft Teams is a new feature. If you have some functionality that you'd like to see added here, give Microsoft that feedback. I will add the feedback portal link below. So this was all I have for today. Thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and have a great day.